What is going on guys? It's a beautiful day today here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida. And we're usually showing off the million dollar, high dollar rigs. But today we found an entry level diesel pusher that I think is a great option for someone that's looking to get into motor homing, but doesn't want to break the bank. This 2008 Holiday Rambler Endeavor just became available here at the Motor Coach Store for $77,777. This has the Cummins 4 400. It's on the Roadmaster chassis. It's got a 10,000 pound towing capacity, a 100 gallon diesel fuel tank, an Onan diesel generator, and is so much equipment for $77,777. And this is a really cool floor plan that I wanted to show you guys. And another big advantage of this coach is it's an 08, so it's pre-DEF. I know a lot of you are big fans of the pre-DEF coaches and Holiday Rambler back Back in this vintage was a very high-end motorhome. They later did get bought out by Rev Group. The quality you know, isn't the same that it was in this vintage. Let's take a closer look inside of this motorhome. So the first thing I want to point out is these captain's chairs. I love the button tough finish with the two-tone finish on these captain's chairs. You've got the Holiday Rambler logo embroidered. Nice, comfortable captain's chairs here. Simple cockpit with the analog dash, but this has not been detailed yet. I just wanted to jump in here real quick and show you guys this coach because it's just so much equipment for the money. You've got your gear selector for your Allison transmission, engine brake, rear view mirror controls, leveling controls, cruise control, windshield wipers all on your steering wheel, Kenwood stereo, backup camera, you can start and stop your generator, step cover, all those nice features, a little spot to set your cell phone. One of the things I really like about this coach is there's no TV up front. A lot of this coach has had the TV up here, which I think the storage up here is a better utilization of that space. You can see it's got the midship TV, and I've talked to RVers that say they prefer a midship TV because when you're driving all day and you want to relax in your motorhome, the last thing you want to look at is the front driver's captain's chairs. A lot of value in being able to kind of relax back here, look back towards the middle of the coach, and kind of forget that you're in an RV. Now this floor plan is one of my favorite floor plans in diesel motorhomes that we don't see too often but I think it's a great use of this space. This has the front kitchens. When you come inside and you want a cold beverage, your Dometic refrigerator is gonna be the first thing. And then behind that, we've got the galley with a microwave. It's got a propane cooktop there. And this area of the coach, it looks like they have a love seat that they did take out. I know there's a lot of motorhome love seats that they do put in these areas. It's nice to have this open space that you could utilize to maybe put a little office desk area or depending on what your needs are. I like having this open space. And then I like that these are manual shades. You just pull on them, they'll open and close. You have your day and night shades. And this being an 08, just those manual shades are one less thing that can break. And that's another reason that I really like this level of coach. It really hits a sweet spot because you're getting the diesel pusher motor home with the Cummins 400, that Roadmaster chassis. It's not gonna have a lot of the bells and whistles that might break. You know, some of the more complex coaches, when you get these touch panels and all these complex systems, air doors, and just a lot going on, that's all stuff that can break. So this having stuff like the manual shades really makes it at a nice sweet spot where it's gonna be less maintenance and stuff like that that you don't have to worry about fixing. Coming back to the front of the driver slide here, you have your dinette across from your galley very comfortable area over here and you do have a nice view out of the window on this side one of the downsides of this floor plan which may be a positive depending on how you use the coach is typically your patio side is going to be where a lot of your view is and having that refrigerator and galley up front it may be blocking that view that you're normally gonna have on the patio side of the coach. If you are camping in different areas where you have a really nice view on the driver's side of the coach, these nice windows are perfect for that. And then you have storage overhead. Uh, and it's very well lit inside of this coach. You've got the puck lighting here. Everything is very simple, but in very good condition. And this coach has just over 80,000 miles on it. So still a lot of life left in it. Now behind the dinette, is this nice sofa, extremely comfortable with the recliners. Oh, this is high end here, ladies and gentlemen. These are power recliners. 
And I would bet that these are aftermarket. I don't think they had these in 08. Very comfortable. You have the little cup holders with the little lights in them. And this is really comfortable, guys. I could take a nap right now on a hot Florida day. But this is seriously a really comfortable couch. This is, it's more beefier. Like the other couches that I've sat on from this vintage, of, they just weren't as soft and cushy and i don't know this leather's in really good condition i'm, I'm a fan of this couch here so then we've got the midship tv with the fireplace below the tv there's a little bit of storage here before your hallway so you have these huge windows in the middle of the coach now we can bring down this one big nightshade but right now it does have the day shades down so it is letting that light in and nice to have those windows in your hallway and then we actually have a mid bathroom so it looks like they did do like a little diy painting here in the bathroom you do have a washer dryer combo in your bathroom as well as some storage above that nice size radio shower here i'll give you guys the shower test in this coach not a coach for the money here ladies and gentlemen then a really nice uh, master bedroom back here with a queen size bed and i'm not sure the exact dimensions of this mattress but you know you can always hit up my friends at rvmattress.com and use the coupon code andrew steel to get a 25 percent off discount if you did want to put a new mattress they have all different sizes that fit different rvs and make really high quality mattresses so it's always good to know rvmattress.com has those available but we also have a ceiling fan here in the bedroom a huge closet along the back of the coach with these large mirrors hookups for your central vac or house back here and then some nice dresser drawer space here across from your bed and i really like that they have the two levels of countertops so if you just want to sit down here need a little spot to tie your shoe or something nice to have that in your bedroom and then more deep drawer space here as well. If you are a serious and qualified buyer, this coach is available here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida for $77,777. Serious buyers can contact Bradley Twait. His information is at themotorcoachstore.com. Thanks to all of you that are subscribing. We hope you're all having a great day.